Grand Rising family, happy Friday. I'm doing this reading a little late in the day because I was feeling some heavy energy. I ended up doing a take, take my energy back meditation and I might have to do it again. <laughs> but energy is going like this, right? Because of the eclipse. So because of, of that, I was guided to this water alchemy deck because I do feel that this energy, this heavier energy that I started to feel all of a sudden as emotions coming up to the surface. You know, I told you guys that I've been doing the uh, forgiveness affirmations um, for the past few days, every day. I rotate them, but now it's like I was guided strongly, especially around this eclipse season to do it more, to do it daily. I was doing it daily, then I started doing some other ones, and then now I'm back to it again. Because our spirit guided me to, and there are some, you know, there's some things that are coming up in my dream state. There's some things that are coming up to be released, and they are being released. When they're being released, it, it feels heavy. So I don't know if you guys are feeling that, or if I'm just picking up in the collective energy. I also heard, you don't know what you have until it's gone when I was in meditation. And then I heard that this heavy energy could also be from somebody that's feeling haunted by how much they hurt you and broke your heart, but also haunted by, but also haunted by, you know, feeling like the thought of you being with somebody else, okay, of you moving on. So that's what what came through in meditation. So I'm interested to see if something along those lines is going to show up. I am hoping that, you know, I do feel like a lot of you guys are moving on and moving forward, closing out, you know, closing things out from the past. But that doesn't mean, it, I feel like the pressure that somebody in your energy could be feeling is the fact that it is time to figure it out, close it out, right? Forgive themselves, let the past go, make amends, do the right thing, you know? That's this energy that we're in. So everyone's feeling in different ways. But let's see what the main energy here is. And then we're gonna get started. I wanna thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, for showing up, for being here with us every single day. And for us, you know, contributing to our community, working together here. Um, working together, meaning doing the work together, right? Um, to ascend, to evolve, to heal, to grow collectively. Thank you all for liking, sharing, subscribing, for your donations, for scheduling personal readings with me. For um, in every which way you guys show up, it does help the community to grow. It helps the message to reach those that need it. So God bless you. Thank you so much for supporting. That's how we can support each other for supporting me and supporting our community. Um, God bless you. The information to schedule personal readings with me for donations, for purchasing decks is on my website in the description box below, family. All right, uh, let's go. I'm going to say a prayer. We're going to get started. Oh, hold on. Let me get the... TikTok. <laughs> TikTok camera ready. Archangel Metatron just reminded me. All right, here we go.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spirit guides. May this message reach everyone that needs it, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is. So, um, I'm going to split the deck. We have waterfall. I, I don't know unless I read it from the book what this means. Um, so, we're not doing the splitting of the deck unless I know what the card means already. Purification, that's it. That pretty much speaks for itself, right? Um, this is what's happening. This is what we're doing. We're going through a cleanse. Okay, Spirit, what is the main energy? When I say the main, what's picking up? What's in the energy for Friday? Oh, it's Friday the 13th. Okay, for Friday the 13th. Here we go. <laughs> that means uh, what's in the energy, right, family? Um, this means manifesting on Friday. It could be if you're in alignment with this energy. But my readings are timeless, so whenever you come across this is when the message is for you. I want to welcome all the new subscribers. Thank you all so much. Welcome to the family. And to everyone that's returning, welcome back. All right, Spirit, what is the main energy here? The message here for the collective for Friday the 13th. What's the message for the collective for Friday the 13th? Floating. Floating, we're floating, and then we have lake at the bottom of the deck. Number twenty-four. We're floating. Yeah, family. That's the energy. That's what I feel. I felt it. I felt it heavy. <laughs> uh, I can't. We're so connected. We're so in, aligned and in tune. I can feel everything's going on with you guys. <laughs> I was feeling this heavy energy. And look, exhaustion alert. Stop. It says stop. You are in danger of burnout and are being encouraged to take a break without delay. Step off, step off the treadmill to gain insight and realign to your purpose. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have here, be like floating. So you guys are doing the most. Or, you know, it's important to listen to your body right now, especially during eclipse, okay? Uh, if your body is telling you to stop, it's time to stop. And also, when you're in your head a lot, that's burnout energy as well. Burnout is not spiritual. Are you sinking under the weight of your obligations? That's ten of wands energy, by the way. Or are you caught in a current that is taking you away from your desires? We should work to live, not live to work. Take stock of your stress levels. So you're not being overloaded. Like purification. Remember we split the deck? We saw purification? Like purification. Book time to go on a retreat to rediscover yourself. Make time for fun. Get a massage. Get a, a mammy petty. Take, take a day off, family. To, to sleep all day. To meditate all day. To rest. Okay? Uh, take a, a weekend off or whatever so you can unplug from mass consciousness also okay you being asked right now to re, re, retreat to recharge I almost wasn't able to do this reading because I, I was feeling this energy already okay so um, interesting and I'm not the only one I have uh, my sisters my soul sisters we were in a group group chat and uh, everyone was talking about how they're feeling drained and you know tired and all of that you know feeling the heavy energy so we have here distant shores bottom of the deck travel and adventure are on the cards for you whether you're planning a physical trip or stepping onto a new higher timeline you are crossing an important divide to new and exotic shores this period heralds a rapid and positive shift in consciousness for you very nice. That's why you're being asked to take to stop, to take a break, so you can integrate, so you can receive whatever higher timeline that you're about to embark on. Okay? Interesting. This card is reminding me of the star card. See the barrel of water there? Water bear. Alright, so let's see what else we got. What else for Friday? What else for Friday? the 13th 
So I might actually, well, I was planning tomorrow to do the Eclipse weekend reading. And uh, I was planning to do a couple of readings tomorrow because I'm fully booked on Saturday. But I don't know how I'm going to be feeling. I guess I have to see. It is important right now during this time, during the Eclipse, uh, to do the Complete Chakra Reset by Pure Rasa because we're going through a reset as well as the Aura Cleanse, okay, also by Pure Rasa. So look that up on YouTube. I do have a Complete Chakra Reset one linked in the description box. It's an old one. She has a newer one that's not an hour long. That's more like 30-something minutes long. All right, what else is the energy? Okay. We have Page of Cups. So a new love offer. Oh, or an apology. An apology here. Someone um, wants to come out of defeat. They want to surrender. They want to come out of their ego here. They want to stop playing games. Okay. What else we got? Somebody that, that, okay, I got bruised ego. Somebody that try to play with you or try to toy with you or try to get a reaction out of you or to try to get you to, because I'm seeing this person here like um, antagonize these people. It's like childish energy of like trying to get the last laugh or the last win but it's like this person did something to these people and they're and this person now is waiting for their reaction or for them to do something back to them to chase them or to fight back and these people are not they put their swords down they're not fighting back so it's like somebody's seeing that Perhaps you're not fighting for this anymore. You're walking away. You're, it's not worth it to you. You're choosing your battles wisely. Okay. And, and now they want to... Now it's like, okay, my games didn't work. They're not chasing me. They're not coming to... They're not entertaining my, my games. That's what I just heard. Somebody has has had enough. What else? What else here? Somebody that's immature with the page. And as I said that, here comes the emperor. Somebody that can be very controlling, domineering in their ego. I'm getting that, especially with these with this card here. And it's like, now somebody's inner warrior, they, it is being activated, now they want to fight for this love, okay? But your cup is closed, and you're emotionally, you're guarded. Your cup is closed, you're emotionally detached, detaching, you're walking away, and you have some boundaries up. Because you no longer want to entertain situations that is imbalanced, fair, integral, that matches, that doesn't match your values and your integrity. Okay? With the justice card. So you have somebody here that may be older in their age, but they act childish and immature in their communication style, in their behavior. Okay? We'll see. What else here? And and this exhaustion energy be like you're just tired of it. We have the three of wands. The, the three of wands. You could be seeing one one one. That means your thoughts, your thoughts is manifesting rapidly. You think of something and you see it pop up on your timeline, or you see it come to fruition. You think about something. I know how much that's happening in my energy in my life. You think about something and it comes to fruition. It's like you think about pizza and your roommate or your friend or your child comes home with a pizza pie. And you're like, oh, my God, I was just thinking about pizza. And here you are walking in with pizza like that kind of stuff. Memory, uh, not memory. Uh, I was going to say uh, uh, miracles, right? Little magic, magic and miracles unfolding. I also I'm also getting with the three of wands is that you, you have a manifestation coming in. Okay, this could be somebody watching from a distance as well. 
and planning to take action. They foresee, somebody here foresees uh, a union taking place here with the two of, this is what they're manifesting. You or somebody in your energy, union, communication, somebody's taking action because there's competition for you now. Oh, they're taking action. Yeah, they're taking, there's somebody foresees themselves taking a leap of faith on this because the risk of losing you is so high. This is somebody that did not treat you like you were too important to lose until you discovered that you are too important to lose. And now they're saying that you're too important to lose because you're seeing, because you now see that you are too important to lose, you know? And it's like, you snooze, you lose. It's like, you're, you, if you're not going to see my value and my worth, somebody else will, you know? Because I see my value and my worth, right? So this is a, a soulmate connection. So we have, so let's see what this, let's clarify. Let's see what this three of wands is talking about. Let's see what this page wants to say. But it's like, this is somebody here that is surrendering, ready to surrender because no one's, no one is chasing them, fighting back or arguing or no one wants to, you, you are just not interested in this energy, being a part of this energy anymore. You outgrew it. Or you did your healing work and it's no longer resonating. It's not fun for you. Toxicity, immaturity, mind games, manipulation, resistance, energy, sabotage energy. It's just not, it's not attractive. It's not sexy to you. It's just, uh, it's kind of, it kind of repels you, actually. It's kind of gross. This kind of behavior. Uh, page of Cups. Clarify this. So now this person is is is, is trying to figure out here. You know, when is the best time to hop on this wave here, right? We got Aries, Aries, Aquarius, Pisces. Somebody is, is having foresight. They're seeing clear. They're seeing clearly here. Somebody wants is making some kind of travel plans even. Okay. Could be somebody at a distance. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Nine of Cups. Give me one more justice yeah so somebody's in uh, this person here is is really wants to make the wants to do wants wants to apologize and make make something right okay uh they want to make amends um they want to restore the peace and the balance they want to do the right thing okay it's this person's wish to to do that to come to come clean to come forward and um and bring justice to the situation okay this person that treated you not very not very fair or just in the past they're coming in a little humbled you know wearing their heart on their sleeve here in their inner child energy very shy approach very you know um this is somebody that's very intuitive and very creative okay so it's a, it's a it's a quiet energy this person's quiet very dreamy um not very good at expressing themselves emotionally not very mature when it comes to emotional vulnerability and emotional expression and opening up all right but they would it, it they would like okay to um make things right here with you make amends bring back the peace bring restore the peace restore the balance reconcile okay and this is somebody you do have a spiritual connection with a soulmate we'll get more information on that tell me about this five of the swords
five of swords. And it's not an accident. We got ace of swords here. That the Libra card is here. Um, I'm getting also, thank you, Spirit, that this person was very selfish in the past and lazy with the Nine of Cups. Okay? Um, greedy energy, over overindulgent energy, just uh, wanting to get what they wanted to get, right, from you. Um, take a taker. That's why Justice came out clarifying the Nine of Cups. Now this person wants to give, but they're like still not giving much, family. Okay? This could just be an apology so you can get closure. All right? But uh, this person wants to take, now wants to take accountability and responsibility and face the consequences. They've been facing the consequences, but with this Libra energy here, we're in Libra season and this upcoming eclipse is in Libra and that's what this eclipse is trying to do. It's trying to help us with, right? It's trying to help us to close stuff out. And this person's still going to be tormented until they communicate, until they clear things up, until, you know, you w this person, I feel like, won't be able to really move on and forward until, you know, they um, make things right. <clears throat> so, so that... You know, you can go to calmer waters, right? You can go to more tranquil seas, can actually heal the process of healing. Taking all the, once you get the truth, once you get the clarity, once you get, you know, the information or that you're seeking here, the breakthrough, the communication, the truth will set you free, right? Once you get that, you're able to move forward to calmer waters, to heal, to make progress, to move forward, okay? Things, are, peace is going to be restored. I do feel that the worst is behind you. You are safe. You are protected. But this is really overcoming hardship. Look, the, the Six of Swords right after the Five of Swords. And, and, and what's in between the Six of Swords and the Five of Swords is this clear communication. It's this clarity. This breakthrough, this epiphany, this aha moment that's going to really free somebody. Yeah. So it is time for somebody to take charge and take the leadership and take control. Right? Of the situation. Take, take the authority on this. And, um, and do the right thing. Karma's on the board. Karma's here watching. Tell me about this emperor. Clarify this emperor. This person is just waiting for the right time here. But again, I mean, it. it's never too late or too early to apologize. Even if you may have already moved on to somebody new, this person can still come forward and you can still forgive this person and not take them back. No one says you, 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 you should accept someone back in, into your life after they betrayed you severely and hurt you severely, you know? The Emperor, clarify the Emperor. Yeah, we have uh this Emperor is, you know, is somebody here that is a a, a very mm, meticulous, very it's a strategist, you know. This is somebody here that is patient even though it's Aries which is weird right because Aries tends to not be very patient and tends to uh be a little impulsive and and but they may not be an Aries they just maybe just this could be what how the what they learned and what they matured into somebody that's more disciplined more controlled that has more structure right them is making healthier choices in their life because of something that yeah death card scorpio energy because they learned they learned some kind of lesson very valuable karmic lesson five of five of wands death card and the nine of wands this person has been wounded so they're cautious they 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 have been moving in slow motion this person's steady though they know where they're headed they have direction but they're slow as molasses or as a snail to get to it because they're still, they still have their emotional defenses up. 
it's like this person went through some kind of battle in their life they've been very wounded in their life which has helped with this growth process for them to turn into the emperor here they're battle year they're fatigued they're tired okay but this person isn't giving up they're pushing through they're persisting which is you know um I feel that this uh, this energy here of not giving up, pushing through, and I think there's a fine line with that. At some point, we should surrender. Surrender to our intuition, to our guidance, and have more trust. I don't feel like this person has a lot of trust. Okay? They want to be trustworthy. I feel like they want to come in here and show you, show you. Uh, that they can be trustworthy by earning the trust from the bottom up. That they can be reliable. Right? I feel like that they feel like that time heals all wounds. So I think that this person may be waiting right here to come into your life after some time. To give you time to, I don't know, heal. Or I'm also getting that this person does want to take things, you know, to move rather, you know, steady but slowly in time. Healing together in time, Right? healing in time so it's like um but this person is very hard working um this 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 emperor when they have their eyes uh intention and focus on a goal this knight of pentacles is you know um it moves towards that goal steady pace they want to make sure that they're making, they're, they're, you know, it's like a perfectionist energy. They want to make sure that, that everything is, it's kind of like a quality versus quantity kind of thing, energy as well. They want to make sure that everything is legit, that it's right. The I's have uh, dotted, the T's are crossed. This is somebody here that's very detailed and very, you know, um, I don't know, family. Just uh, somebody is controlling, Con very controlling. Tell me more. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles here. Start with this Knight of Pentacles. We're going to talk more about this Emperor. Yeah, see? So this person here is changing their... That, that jump right there, right underneath Justice and the and the Nine of Cups. But I was, I was clarifying the Knight of Pentacles and we got the Hanged Man and the Two of Cups. Both of them jumped. So this person is awakening to the connection. I'm also getting this person's in the process of changing their mind about something. That the reason why this person was taken forever here to decide or to make any kind of move is because they uh they had some they, they had to work on they were going through their awakening first of all and second of all they had to change their pers their perspective on something they needed to get some kind of a, a a a light bulb moment or an epiphany or some kind of a breakthrough ace of swords right and um this is somebody that hasn't been able to move on from this connection they've been feeling stuck but they're in their head a lot they needed to ground this person here ha has a lot of limitations or had or in the process of coming out of those limitations okay slowly but the hanged man is like, this This situation hasn't moved, you know. It's been stuck in limbo or like up in the air, in suspension, at a pause. But with the two, us, uh, at a pause, but you guys have been telepathically and spiritually connected, okay? So it's like this person is waking up to the connection, to the realization of this this love what this is this is somebody you do have a soul contract with tell me about the three of wands here 
you weren't on the same. We saw five of wands. This person brought other people into the mix. You weren't seeing eye to eye. You weren't on the same page. You didn't have the same values, morals, integrities, and belief systems. So it wasn't reciprocated. It was a constant battle. Ace of Pentacles. So there's a new beginning. There's the pentacle. There's the pentacle. The offer. And this isn't... And it's like... There is that, that, you know, the healing takes time here, right? Energy. Because we do have an opportunity here for liberation and freedom. With the sun card and the judgment from this. From this. Once and for all. Right? The judgment. After a, a period of awakening, of a breakthrough, of rebirth, of rising from the ashes, we see the death card here. We have two Scorpio cards here and the sun. Judgment is Scorpio. So is death. The sun is Leo. So, and we have Pisces on the board, Aries, Libra. Anyway, so it's like somebody is making some kind of judgment call, making a very important decision here about th this, okay, new beginning, about accepting this offer from God. But it's like, forgiveness is the key here, okay? That's what's going to free us from the past. That's how it's going to help us to move forward. I feel like this communication coming in is really going to help to heal things, okay? So, um, some of you guys, definitely a couple cards of travel here. Some of you guys could be at a distance. But... There is, a again, a spiritual awakening, a spiritual transformation taking place. Somebody with the sun card here, you or this person, is finally, you know, receiving the clarity that they need. They're getting their light bulb moment. As you can see, the hanged man, his head is lit up. He's upside down because when you're upside down, you see things from a different angle. Seeing things from all angles, from a different perspective, right? So... With the judgment card, it is saying that this person is going through a major rebirth or you after a major ending and it's now getting ready to take action on this opportunity here with the ace. It's an opportunity coming in with this ace of pentacles, an offer coming in. It's probably coming in towards you or you're the one giving this offer. Somebody is coming out of the dark and finally seeing the light. There's the light at the end of the tunnel. After a period of them doing some self-evaluation, some self-forgiveness, that's what's going to help to clear this person's karma, right? This person is feeling homesick for themselves as well as you, their, their partner here. So self-evaluation, awakening, renewal, okay? So um, a lot of forgiveness is taking place. I think that this person knows that you may be guarded and exhausted of this journey. You are really, I feel like you are, I think that with this energy, I feel like you took matters into your own hands. You walked away, you freed yourself, and now you're moving on and moving forward with your life. You broke free. With the sword of truth. Yeah, this is somebody that out, is out in the cold. That put you out in the cold. Both of these two people are out in the cold here. But it's a choice. There's a warm building on the inside that they can go in. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Wands. What is this? Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. The High Priestess. And wow, somebody here is an Earth Angel with the, with the Temperance. We have here the King. So yeah, so this person is watching and waiting here. Okay? Going through a lot of changes. The universe is guiding this person towards their destiny. And, uh... Towards where they're meant, you know, 
where they're meant to go. Their intuition is very strong right now. The angels is also helping this person and guiding this person and leading this person towards this. It could be a twin flame connection with the temperance card. But there's a lot of patience here. There's a lot of healing that's taking place. This person is feeling more balanced. Okay, with the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups. They want to come in with the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups and express themselves emotionally here. Right now, they're, they're, they, they could potentially be secretly watching with the High Priestess. There is no communication. I feel like this person is doing some investigating because they you're a mystery to this person. They can't quite read you and figure out what's going on with you. But their inner knowing is telling them that time the time is now, three of wands, to take action on this, to take charge, to take the leadership. Okay, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that their inner knowing, their intuition their, is, 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 is nonstop on this person. Tell me about this emperor. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see exactly what's going on with this emperor right now. Tell me what's going on with this emperor. Clarify this emperor. Spirit, please. Taking aim, family. They have stepped into their power, the emperor, and taking action towards you. They will not miss their mark this time. Yeah, this knight of pentacles is focused on the on the goal on the target on their mark okay that's one thing about this king of pentacles it's the only i'm sorry not king of pentacles this knight of pentacles is the only knight that gets to their destination which is the ten of pentacles we have uh, so this person wants to bring an offer to the high priestess telepathy the telepathy you share cannot be ignored your words are slowly even imprints upon their heart that's the two of cups energy <clears throat> clarify the emperor insatiable holy moses they have an insatiable thirst a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy they're starting to crave you more and more under the deck yeah family i just said that justice right here they're trying to do to do the right thing by offering something more solid and giving it careful consideration. This is the solid offer. Right here. There's justice right here. There's the solid offer right there. And there's the careful consideration. Hanged man. Okay. Yep. And then we have unseen factor. There's more to this love story, though you cannot see it now. There's still so much more to unfold. Three of Wands. There is uh, something coming in here for you. You may feel it, High Priestess, but it's like it's still in the making. It's still a manifestation that's coming in. You don't have to take it if you don't want to. You may have manifested this a long time ago. You may not be in that energy anymore because you've been doing the work. I'm getting strong masculine energy in this reading. I'm getting feminine energy with the high priestess. Somebody is in silence, is in stillness, is in receiving energy, is in, you know, uh, quiet solitude, quiet feminine energy of silence and stillness. They want to send a, mass, a message. They want to message you to explain everything to you, Ace of Swords. But they know they have to do right by you. Yeah, they, they pretty much know that you're just, uh, you walked away from their games and their manipulation. Uh-huh. So, unseen factors. There's more to this love story. There's more to this love story. Let's get some more information on this emperor. Okay, we're not we're not shuffling like that. Spirit said. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with my shuffling today? Let me sit upright. This deck is is very thick. Also, I have three decks coming tomorrow, family. I'm excited. So 
right on time, right before the eclipse. Spirit. Clarify this emperor. So this person is in their free will right now, okay? They are detached. They are detached. So they're in silence, clearly. You haven't really, you know, they're, they're thinking it over. Yeah, they're in the process of, they're hibernating. They're thinking, they're going within, they're in silence, okay? Something significant about the holidays uh, for you guys. Uh, this person right now is at a crossroads. And that's what this hanged man is talking about. They have an opportunity, okay? Um, but they haven't, they haven't yet uh, done anything about that opportunity. They have an opportunity here to uh, claim this, ten of this Ace of Pentacles, right? And uh, plant it, nurture it with, this tool, with the person that they want to build with. But they're, again, that's why the stuckness, the, the stagnation, the slowness here. This person is meticulous. They are, they are an overthinker. They're controlling. Okay. Uh, this person has, yes, they matured some. But there's still some, some, you know, possessive, you know. I don't know. I'm getting, I don't know why I just got greedy, possessive. Um, energy from this person so let's see what else let's get one more well as I said that I looked at the bottom of the deck I can't make this stuff up family and let me tell you I didn't even look at the bottom of the deck until now until I was getting ready to shuffle again yeah the devil <laughs> this person is an a workaholic okay that's why there's, there's burnout energy here so, they have these, uh, you know, materialistic, superficial, uh, I, I, don't, I heard ego and vanity. <sighs> this is somebody here that, okay, let's go. What else for this emperor? Give me one more for this emperor. Beth, Scorpio energy. Yep, this person is, uh, think about a Scorpio archetype, right? Intense, controlling, possessive. There is, they have the light and they have the dark, you know, aspects, right? But very psychic. Again, look, possessive, I knew it. Resource, this person is resourceful. You know, uh, this is a probing energy, a very determined energy, a very focused. This person is very focused with this Knight of Pentacles here. Very deep, very intense. They may have Pisces in their chart, Scorpio in their chart, uh, Capricorn, Aries in their chart somewhere. Very perceptive person here, okay? This, we're talking about Pluto. This is Pluto energy so very deep a very deep uh thinker as well deep feeler we're thinking heavy energy right and i have one more for this emperor so this is an intense person ah look at that movement we're moving we're moving so yeah so there so this person does want to deliver a message message at the bottom of the deck here after a, a, a long period of hibernation and going within and self-reflecting and contemplation cross trying to figure out what they want you know for themselves in their life here comes some full speed ahead that was a lot message in yesterday's reading right full speed ahead green light go progress goals there's a messenger so so this person wants to message Clarify this writer, messenger, movement. The lovers. Yeah, this person wants to come out of the darkness, of the hiding and the hibernating and the dark night of the soul. There's the knight of wands. Messenger. 
wants to take inspired action towards this lovers, this true love. And then we have here whole, a, a little bit of courage this person needs. This person needs to moderate themselves, release self-doubt. There's, there's some resistance here still. Mm -hmm. The hermit. This person has been doing a lot of inner work, some self-reflection, some introspection, okay? Uh, spiritual work. So let's get, I want to also find out from this deck. Again, I feel like in this energy with the Five of Swords, Ace of Swords, and the Six of Swords, remember I said in earlier that this person, you know, tried to just toy with your emotions and play mind games by coming in and out of your life, by starting things up, by, you know, like the tag you're it. Like, I can't, I, 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 trying to pick, pick at you or trying to provoke you or trying to, get you to chase them or to you, you know make it like your move the next move but when you like put the swords down and started walking away this person didn't expect that and there you are you like i got what i needed here i got my closure i got my apology i got my forgiveness i got my clarity i got my truth i got what i needed and now i can move on and i can heal I'm getting that also As on top of the other message that I got that this person just now wants to surrender and surrender the games and the self-sabotage and wants to talk. Tell me about this emperor. So this is the reason why this person has been doing this is because They've been taking so long, keeping the situation, the relationship, the connection stuck is because they don't feel good enough. Because this comes from the stuff that we've done in the past that we haven't forgiven ourselves about. It could be childhood wounds that's come that, you know, that uh, this person hasn't really healed from. This person has ego issues. It says that on the card here. A lot of fear, jealousy even, okay? This is, again, with the self-sabotage. We got that twice. This person misses out on opportunities and blessings and, and gifts from, from the divine, from the creator because of their deep father wounds. The emperor, this person has father wounds as well as mother wounds as well. But again, I, I feel like there's been, there's some work. We saw the death card. The death is a spiritual transformation. It's a rebirth. And that takes a long time. There is some inner work that's being done, some shadow work that's being done. Yeah, especially with the moon here. This person is diving deep. We saw this person being very deep, death card, going deep into the psyche, into the subconscious, into the wounds. And while they're doing this deep dive, they're getting a perspective shift, a, you know. They, this, this connection is magnetic and very strong, twin flame connection. It's not something you can just easily, I mean, if you've healed and you've done the work and you've detached and you've forgiven, you can move on from it. Of course, you'll always remember this person. They have left a permanent mark in your life because of the catalyst of your deep healing and your awakening, right? But it's like at some point when you do the self-worth work, which is the point of this connection, and align with unconditional love, you're no longer attracted to people that are ma manipulators, sabotagers, mind gamers, uh, you know, that, that is to toxic. You, you're just not. If you do the work, you're just not attracted to, and you heal codependency and abandonment wounds, you're just not attracted to these types of energies. Yeah, this person wears a mask. They're not authentic. They might not even not have their own identity. Interesting, because the emperor is uh, Aries, and that's the self, right? The I am. So, give me one more. 
for the emperor please photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia this person is encouraged to make new memories with you instead of just looking at your photos from a distance and m reminiscing over you and regret yeah heartbroken but there's going to be some kind of sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany with the hanged man that this person is going to get okay and that's exactly what they like a tower a lightning which the eclipse is helping with it's exactly what this person needs to free themselves from this tree that they've been on i'm going to get guidance for you when it comes to this person what that and i'm also going to use my romance angels and this little angel this little angel deck so maybe you know i feel like these readings that we're doing that we're still picking up on this person's energy it's coming up because they're in your energy lovers card there, there's tele telepathy here you're still thinking of them there's two of cups there's the lovers but it's but I, I but i honestly feel like every single time this person shows up in the energy like this i think it does help you to move on and move forward and to forgive especially having more compassion for this person the the strength card especially knowing what's really going on with them right it can really help you to move on and get your closure so uh, you know i feel like some of you guys may have already you're in a process of doing that and if you have a better understanding and an insight i do hope that these messages as these daily messages does bring you or provide you with um, some kind of understanding, healing, clarity, insight, gentle reassurance, confirmation, and validation regarding this twin flame connection of yours. And to know that this is, it's not you, right? You are important. You are too important to lose. You know? You are too important to lose. And it's, it, and, and this person fumbled you because fumbled the earth angel the divine gift from god because not because you're not valuable or worthy or beautiful or worthwhile it's because this person didn't feel worthy of you okay it's because this person was struggling with opening up to vulnerability to true love to intimacy to closeness to healthy connections that they're not used to having so you know hurt people hurt people right so this person may have hurt you deeply because this person was deeply hurt but you didn't become this person you still gave your kindness and your unconditional love and your life to this person because you're an earth angel you loved and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but you learned a lot about yourself about your worth you healed a lot of your inner child woundings this person mirrored back to you your own abandonment wounds your codependencies this person mirrored back all the stuff that this person was dealing with this person mirrored back to you by them not treating you like you're good enough it made you see that that's the area that you needed to work on to heal feel worthy and good enough of of healthy love and not be treated horribly the way that this person treated you and that's a huge gift okay and it doesn't feel like that, it doesn't seem that way based on, you know, justice is here. You are not treated fairly. You are not treated right. You are not treated just. And when justice is here, it means nobody gets away with anything. There are consequences for behaviors, especially when, when you're dealing with a divine connection with a sacred if god sends you an earth angel as a blessing and as a gift for you to help you to heal and you stab this angel that this blessing that god sent you in the heart and the back a thousand times over and over again do you think that that person is think that god's gonna let that person get away with it no no it's like this it's like this person doesn't have any idea how much you suffered how much you cried how much you grieved how much you how for how long you mourned what you lost what you had to do the rebuilding of your life 
It's like this, you know, the Ten of Swords card is that person stabbed on the back and they're laying on the floor for, for dead. This person abandoned you, left you for dead. If you got stabbed in the back like that and you were left like that, this person didn't even turn back. They didn't even turn around to see if you're alive. They didn't even check on you. I bet you this person didn't even call you or check on you one time during COVID. For some of you guys. There's a lot of forgiveness that still needs to be done here, okay? I'm picking up on that right now. Like somebody is like, went through so much pain with this connection. However way that's, uh, that is for you individually, you know? And it's like, it really is, you're, somebody's being freed from this energy and moving on and moving forward with their life. It's like this person was so selfish, they, they only thought of themselves. They didn't consider you at all. Boundaries is needed here with this person. Spirit, maybe the boundaries are already up. Spirit, tell me uh, the guidance with the collective when it comes to this emperor. It's like, it's like the person, um, you know, can speak, can apologize, but it's like a real apology is like a changed behavior, right? Like, I don't know, family. It's like, I don't, I, I think that this person apologizes and while they're apologizing, they're gaslighting you at the same time. It's like, they don't want to hear anything. They don't want, they, they don't want to be, they don't want to hear anything about how, what happened to you or, you know, how you felt or your perspective or they're, they're not taking your feelings. They don't want to hear about it, you know? Tell me here, what is the guidance of the collective when it comes to this emperor? Yeah, firm boundaries are needed here. What else? Yeah, because I don't know how much this person has changed, right? I guess you'll, you'll see. It really depends on this offer. What else? What other guidance do you have for the collective when it comes to this emperor? This relationship can stand the test of time. Well, it's been, it's been long, right? It's been timely. It's been long. It's been a journey and uh of of growth and healing and maturity and ascension but you know this is this is why you guys have not been in union is because energetically and vibrationally you don't match with this person you don't have the same vision but that's just at the bottom of the deck there's still a lot of chemistry here the love is still here the chemistry is still here. This love is everlasting and undying. The love that you shared is eternal and everlasting. Tell me more. Guidance for the collective, for this emperor. Someone is secretly longing for you. We saw that insatiable. They have an insatiable thirst. A thirst that only you, because you're their divine counterpart. A thirst that only you can satisfy. They're craving you more and more. They miss you deeply. And then we have this relationship deserves a second chance. Somebody feels a lot of remorse and regret for the way that they treated you. This relationship deserves a second chance according to spirit and the divine. I can't wait to get my new decks tomorrow, family. So the, the weekend reading will be done with the with the new decks. What guidance do you have for the collective when it comes to this emperor and this connection? A lot of compassion is needed, a lot of forgiveness. So keep doing the forgiveness affirmations and the detachment affirmations, okay? This person hurt you deeply, and they know it. That's why they have regr regret, and that's why they're staying away from you as well. you have for the collective when it comes to this emperor and two of cups lovers codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life 
That's why you were asked to set boundaries. Codependency and boundaries goes hand in hand. Every single time you set a boundary, you heal codependency a little more. There are codependency affirmations and meditations that you can do as well. Hypnosis on YouTube is going to help you to heal from this abandonment wound. I'm feeling worthy. This person could be mirroring that back to you. Because codependency comes from us needing, feeling like we need to be the caretakers, to overgive. There's a fear of loss, a fear of losing. So I'm not going to say no to this person because then I won't hear from them again. What? Codependency wears many hats, family. So it's like, if when we don't set a boundary with people, is because we're needing, we're wanting or needing something from them. It could be approval, validation, a fear of loss, a fear of being seen a certain way. So there's still, it might be still some healing here that uh, could be coming up for you during this time frame. Or this could just be this person. What else other guidance you have for the collective when it comes to this emperor? Your, your love life is ascending to a higher level. So whatever level it's on now is going up one more notch spiritually. Um, there's a healing that's taking place in the 5D for sure. Okay. The codependency could be this person. Could be um, a relationship addiction. Not being able to be without somebody. Or feeling like I, I can't feel happy unless I'm with this person. Or any person, right? For for that matter, it's like that's like codependency. It's like when we accept less than what we deserve, and what we're worthy of. So, I'm getting do the worthy affirmations. It's in the description box. So this is not coming into union yet. There's still a pause because there's still this. This is still a block, energetic block. This is there's still a wounding here. We can't come into union if we're still going to deal with attachment. Do the uh, detachment. If we're still, we still have attachment in our energy to validation, to approval, to needing to overgive so we can feel worthy. Give me one more. It is safe to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So there's still, uh, you know, there's love here. But our hearts are, there's, there's, we're still guarded emotionally. Our hearts are still closed when it comes to this person because of the lack of trust. Until this person starts to truly show you proof, evidence, <laughs> right? Uh, that they have matured, they have changed, they've made some changes. You know, the follow through, the consistency. It's like we feel safe to love people we trust. This person needs to a knight of pentacles steady work on re rebuilding the trust by following through, by being honest, by being transparent, by being open, by being vulnerable, by being consistent, by creating a safe space for you, not gaslighting you, letting you, allowing you, sitting there and taking it, allow like a man or a woman, allowing you to express your feelings, allowing you to express your emotions. You have the right to tell this person how you feel how 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 their actions made you feel and what happened to you you know in to in your life because of all of this how you changed how you grew how what you've learned it's like being safe feeling safe to love you know somebody needs to create that safe space for you to feel safe right you can't just you know and that's where this codependency and boundaries comes in. It's like, if you don't set boundaries with this person, this person's going to continuously hurt you over and over and over again, okay? And you know this as a high priestess here, as it is safe for you to love. You work with Archangel Shamuel. I did post on the community board, it is safe for you to love. Affirmations, you can listen to that along with forgiveness and detachment. Because this is coming in. This is approaching. You're going to have a second chance here to, I don't know, do things differently, right? To heal together. 
So all of the things that you have been working on, codependency, abandonment, ba boundaries, self-worth, self-love is going to be put to the test. You're going to be able to put all that into practice. If you want, if you choose to uh, take this person back, if you choose to accept this offer, okay? We have wedding. If you do choose, it can lead to that. Let me go ahead and pull a message from these, this little angel deck, and then we'll wrap for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. So there's more to this uh, unseen, unseen factors. I want to clarify that real quick. Clarify this unseen factors. What you don't know is that there is a reunion coming up. There is a reconciliation a getting together after some kind of communication. Tell me about unseen factors. There's more to this love story. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Ay, 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 ay. Tell me more. Maybe this person is getting ready to release control. Yeah. After a period of healing here and retreat, okay, there is a... And this, that's what this person has been healing. Materialism, selfishness, greed, okay, codependency with the King of Pentacles in reverse for sure. So, but looks to me with the Three of Cups that there is going to be an opportunity here to, to, to come into some kind of union. Clarify unseen factors. There's more to this love story. There's the Ace of Wands, a passion and new beginning. Okay, victory and success, an equal give and take, a balance that's going to be restored. But the reason why it's not here yet is this part because this person's shown up as a king of pentacles in reverse, family, is what I said. Greedy, materialistic, okay, possessive, controlling, not very good energy. And that's what this person needed to heal from, four of swords, and awaken to here. All right, I wanted to see what, what was this uh, unseen factors here. But it looks to me like there's, this person what is going to come back, gen more, be more generous, be more generous, be more giving, more attentive, putting in time, energy, and effort, giving to the situation, not just being a taker, king of pentacles in reverse. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a victory. Bottom of the deck. Last message here, angels. self-worth that's this is the whole message this brings the whole reading together packed up into one little card <laughs> that's this is the whole issue here for both of you i feel like with this codependency if this is your energy because that's guidance for you this is what this person is mirroring back to you in this mirroring relationship you both have okay i'm going to read this to you guys Self-worth bestows a sense of confidence, expectation of success, and ability to love. Decide on clear boundaries and limits and firmly... Oh, wow. Decide on clear boundaries and limits and firmly decline to let others step over them or manipulate you. You will earn respect. This person was a manipulator. Five of swords. And because you're an empath, a healer, a light worker... You know, before you became empowered and awakened and healed, you know, you you try to see the light in this person. You try to give them the benefit of the doubt. You try to help this person, save this person, fix this person. You know, all the codependency stuff, right? And um, and it's like you ended up being stepped on like a doormat. That's why this person, that was the lesson. That was a spiritual lesson here. It was a very important one for you. Okay? Uh, when you value yourself, you become open and friendly. Slow to take offense and quick to forgive. Yeah, because it's like, that's why I said these readings are beneficial. Even though we keep repeating the same kind of stuff. is because I think it does help, helps you to see that, you know, that this person didn't do all of this because you're not good enough or worthy or important or valuable or even you know lovable right this is the this person just projected a lot of their wounds onto you a lot of their stuff okay 
We're no longer accepting, receiving, or absorbing other people's projections or woundings within us. Remind yourself that you are likable and lovable. Do not let others press your buttons. Stand tall and confident. With true self-worth, you radiate a golden aura which enfolds others and makes them feel good too. Ask your angels to step into your aura and guide you. Affirmations, I am confident and and worthwhile. So we'll listen to the I am worthy affirmations regularly and every night. That's what I do. And it's in the uh, community board as well as the forgiveness affirmations. Every night, rotate them. Listen to maybe like 20, 30 minutes. Go to bed early. Listen to like 20, 30 minutes of one and then another 20, 30 minutes of the other and then go to sleep with uh, the last one. The detachment, the worthiness, and the align with unconditional love and the forgiveness. Those four are the most important ones. So you can heal and, and get into alignment, okay, from this uh, and from inner child stuff and past life trauma and everything else, okay, that could be coming up for you right now. But yeah, um, I feel like if you are doing the work, the meditations, if you are in therapy or, you know, however way that you are with your spiritual practices that you are doing this work, right? I do feel every single day you're becoming stronger and stronger. I do feel that uh, you're changing. You're rising up another level. You're changing every single day. So basically, you what you may have accepted from this person, what you may have done when it comes to this person two months ago, you're not in that same energy. Every day, you continuously evolving and transforming and changing because you do the work. So... It's like you're, it's slow, the process, but it's steady, just like this Knight of Pentacles, right? This Knight of Pentacles actually says, time heals all wounds. If you're actually doing the healing work, right? It heals all wounds. Other, If not, then you're going to be repeating patterns and cycles. You're going to be meeting the same kind of person in different bodies, until you finally take charge, take control, take matters into your own hands and, you know, take control of your life and energy and start doing the healing work so you're no longer. Sometimes it takes this one last sword in your back, right, and in your chest for you to be like, I don't ever want to go through this again. I don't ever want to attract in anybody like this in my life ever again. That's what it took for me is that realization like, wow, I was really treated like that. I don't ever want to feel that again. I don't ever want to attract anybody like that in my life ever again. What do I need to do? Look within to, to heal what I need to heal. That is, uh, you know, so that I can stop attracting the same types of people in different bodies, right? Uh, that are abusive. That, that a user, a taker, you know, and I'm taking responsibility for my part, where I allowed it, people are only going to treat you the way that you let them treat you, right? The way that you allow it, the how you know, based on how you treat yourself. I was too far gone at that point. I was already deeply in love. So, um, but my my body, my soul, my spirit was was already telling me that it was uh, not healthy for me. That it was not good for me, you know. But anyway, this is story time for another day. This is already too long of a reading. I will talk to you guys again this week. I'll do the weekend reading tomorrow. I need to get some rest, family, and so do you guys. I love you, and God bless you. And uh, thank you so much for every which way you guys show up. Namaste. I'll see you tomorrow.